In this video, I wanna talk about how and why fascia is the cause of all disease. In chiropractic school, I had to learn about other professions and there was a lecture about doctors of osteopathy and their founder in 1901, the first slide on the board had a quote and it said, fascia is the cause of all disease. And it was like, the universe smacked me in the face and said, you need to listen to this because this is the truth. So in America, a lot of the medical doctors believe that toxicity overload is the cause of disease. Now, how does that correlate with fascia? So in the system of the body, the connective tissue is two parts. It is a physical part, which is collagen. You hear about that for tightening up the skin on the face and the collagen that wraps around the muscles and the tissue that is compressive and makes us stiff and causes pain. But then there's a liquid component. This is the environment in the extracellular fluid around the cells where the toxins of the cells are being dumped out into this fluid. You've guessed it, this is the lymphatic system. So the fluid in the lymph system is the fascia. And if the toxicity builds up in that system, you have toxicity overload. Now, how is this important to fascia and how do we heal and get this toxicity out of our body? It's through movement. It's through using the Dr. Fascia Breakthrough Tool to generate a breakdown in the compressive physical component of the tissue. It's through stretching. It's all to generate hydration and the accumulation of water into the system, into the body, to allow for all of the toxicity to get into the lymph, into the heart, into the kidneys, and out of the body. Now, let's also talk about cancer. So cancer is a very scary topic and it's running rampant in America. And there are really compelling studies. They had these rats and they injected breast cancer into these rats and they for one group, they stretched the rat's pecs 10 minutes a day for four weeks. And in four weeks, they found a 63% reduction in the tumor. So new studies are saying, hey, stretching will help lower your risk of cancer. Same thing, stretching is shearing. It's shearing the tissue back and forth to create water. And as our body grows water, it allows for rivers of fluid to get into where the cancer is. If I have a fascia compression and an anchor and tightness, the white blood cells are stuck. There is a river that is now dried up and this white blood cell is on the other end going, hey, I need to cross. I need to get over and get to that cancer, but I have no water to swim in to get over to the other side to actually get to the cancer and start destroying it. <laughs> it could be that simple. So when we optimize our fascia and we hydrate our tissue, we're going to remove toxicity and we are going to help our white blood cells work and optimize and clear out potential risks like cancer. And when we talk about inflammation as a cause of disease, I've already prefaced it in another video, but inflammation can be broken down with the tugging, with shearing, with allowing for that mechanical pull on the cell, it lowers inflammation. So those are three different ways that the fascia system is involved in disease. So let's optimize it.